Hello lovely people, it's Christina and welcome to my channel and for my current crew that's watching, welcome back. So you guys, this is part two of my six month uh, hair update from when I cut my hair six months ago. And the first part, I blow dried my hair with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. I think that's the name of it. Uh, if you hadn't seen that video, go link it down. If you hadn't seen that video, I will link it down below. That was my first time using that hair brush blow dryer so if you want to know what i thought about it then go watch that video and check it out before you watch this one so all i did when i got done was just put these little plaits in right quick and just put those rubber bands at the end just to kind of keep the stretch on it so now all i'm going to do is take these loose right quick okay you guys so i'm going to be straightening straightening my hair but i am not going to be using a flat iron i'm actually going to be using this a uh, hair straightening brush i did just receive this today in the mail i did order it off of amazon and i also ordered that blow drying brush off of amazon i'll make sure i link those down below but it came with this cute little pouch and it came with this heating glove which i did just use that when i was blow drying my hair it also came with this little thing to clean the um straightening brush and then it came with this little pad right here to put it on while you are using it so this is what it looks like just a regular looks like a regular hairbrush these are all of the settings right here and yeah we are just going to go ahead and get started so first thing i like is the fact that it has this um part right here that swirl swivels swirls turns whatever you want to call it love that right there all right so it's turned on and it is saying off so i'm just going to turn it on and it did come with a little booklet they have recommended temperatures for different hair types if your hair is soft or fine you want to do 260 to 320 if you have medium volume hair you want to do 340 to 390 and if you have thick dense hair then you want to do anywhere in between 410 to 450 and you do just like the way you do with a regular flat iron you do your hair in sections so that's what i'm going to do um let's see i think i'm going to start it out on 400 so to turn it on, I'm just going to hold the power button right here. It says it's supposed to hold it for about 0.5 seconds. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just going to mash this. And I'm going to put it on. Oh, well, it goes to 410. So let me take it down to 390. Start out because I don't know how hot this thing is going to get. And we're not trying to risk heat damage over here. So I'm going to let that heat up and part my hair into sections like I usually do when I flat iron it. So I know this is not going to be super duper straight, but it'll work for what I need it to work for. All right, so we are at 390 now. And it says that you can lock this so that the temperature doesn't accidentally change. Okay, so my bad. Actually, it automatically locks. It says the temperature control automatically locks when reaching the target temperature to prevent accidentally pressing the wrong button during styling. LOC reminder will be shown on the display screen when any button is pressed. Double press the power button to unlock. So as you can see, it is at 390, and if I accidentally hit the go up button, then there it goes. It shows the, L, I mean, it shows the LOC. So I'm going to just start off with this section. Now my, my only concern with this will be, is it going to get my roots? Y'all know as us naturals, when we flat iron our hair or straighten our hair or blow out our hair, our concern is them darn roots. Is it going to get my roots good? And also if you've been following me for a minute you know i am scared of heating tools because i am scared of burning myself so um i can feel the heat coming out of this thing i can put my hand on it but i can't keep it there so yeah i'm a little nervous right now <laughs> i'm nervous because i'm telling y'all i'd be scared of getting burnt so i am going to put this on because my hair does get hot when i be doing this and hopefully I won't have to run this brush through it too many times because you know when we flat iron our hair we do one pass two at the most and that's it 
So hopefully it will be the same way with this brush. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, I'm so scared. <laughs> So I said you're supposed to go through slowly and smoking, but I know that's because of the product in my hair. Can't feel nothing with this brush on. I mean, with that glove on. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. It does get pretty hot, so I think because I ain't trying to get heat damage. I think I'm gonna turn it down to 375 because that's pretty hot for 390. All right, so I'm gonna go up under the bottom. Once again, going slowly, but not too slow. All right, so that is what this section is looking at and it actually got the roots pretty good. Better than I thought it was going to. But that's what this section is looking like. And my hair is going to be a bit way down because I did use a thicker leave-in. And then I did spray a pretty good bit of heat protectant on my hair. So all I'm going to do now is just go through the rest of my hair right quick. Um, putting on my heat protectant and stuff. And then I'll come back and give you all my final thoughts. finally finished and first let me say that I am 100% impressed but not impressed with what you think I'm impressed with not impressed with the tool but impressed with the length that I have retained in six months oh my gosh you guys like I knew my hair was growing and I was retaining length but I did not realize I retained this much length and you guys y'all can't even hardly see it let me change my shirt right quick I'm back so this is what it is looking like like I said I know my ends need to be trimmed that's what I'm getting ready to do um as soon as I finish this video but you guys do y'all see this when I cut my hair six months ago and I'm gonna insert a picture if I still got that picture, I'm going to insert it. My hair was about right here, I think it was, right here to the side of my face. And now it is back on my shoulders. So, yes, I am very impressed. And then this is not even straightens like bone straight. So, it is still a little tab longer than, just, than this. Probably like, you know, to my collarbone. And then remember, this side is... Hang on, let me see. This side is, was this the longer side? One of these sides was longer because I couldn't cut it right. Um, but they almost look like they're, they almost look like they're even now. But I want to think it was this side. I think this side was the longest side, but like you can't even really tell anymore. This side actually now looks longer. But yeah, so this isn't even flat ironed or straightened, like bone straight. I didn't get it bone straight because of the rain and stuff that's coming. But yeah, you guys, I am so impressed with my length that I have retained in six months. Like, oh my gosh, six months. And my hair is already back basically to the length that it was before I cut my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna give you all a 360. And I gotta hurry up because my battery is about to go dead. So yeah, that is what it is looking like. Okay, so as far as this tool right here, you guys, this thing right here gets hot. I was not expecting this to get as hot as it did, but this thing gets hot. I'm talking about smoking hot. So I am glad that I did not go up to 400 
or over 400 because then I'm pretty sure I would have ended up with heat damage. 375 worked just fine. Now, if I wanted, wanted to get it a little bit more straighter than this, then I would have probably went up to like 410 and I could have only done just one pass and I think it would have gotten it pretty straight because my hair is not like thick, thick. It's like thickish. So yeah, um, I was worried about it not getting my roots. You guys, this gets my roots just fine. All I did was took my hair and instead of going straight down, I kind of, you know how our, our parents, if you used to get your hair straightened with that comb that they put on the stove and they pull your hair and then they bend it and kind of press it with the side. That's sort of how I did it um, to get my roots. And yeah, I got my roots just fine. I can feel my scalp just fine. Uh, so it did a good job with that. I was having problems with it getting my ends though because you know I'm used to doing the chasing method. So then I realized that if I put that glove on and hold my hair all the way to the very end, then it got my ends a whole lot straighter versus me just taking it, it's not plugged up anymore, versus me just taking it and doing like that. So I took it and I pulled it really tight all the way to the end and I had that glove on so I didn't have to worry about burning my hands. So it did help to get the ends a little bit better. Of course, if I had a trim and my ends were fresh and looking good and all that good stuff, my ends would be a lot more straighter than what they are. But uh, yeah. Um, so I actually like this thing. I did get done a whole lot faster than I would have if I had flat ironed my hair with a flat iron. I did not get a chance to time it because I did receive a phone call so I was on the phone. But it it usually takes me when I flat iron my hair it usually takes me like an hour to an hour and a half to two hours <laughs> this didn't even I know it was an hour it had to be like 30 minutes max at the most maybe 30 35 minutes so yeah whole lot faster love that so this is something that I would definitely use when I want to straighten my hair versus going in with flat iron I think I would use this instead because it's a lot faster but I can see how someone could end up getting heat damage from this because with it being a brush, you have that urge to just want to keep brushing your hair like a regular brush. But I had to remind myself this is a straightener. This is not a brush. So we're not trying to do five, six, seven passes as if I was brushing my hair. So I only did two at the most. That was it. But I believe if I would have put it on 410 or kept it on 390, then one pass would have been fine. And it would have got it a little bit straightener. So, a little bit straighter. So, yeah. This is my result. So, I set for so for this right here, I do like it. I will continue to use it whenever I do want to straighten my hair. Um, I cannot wait to try that on my daughter's hair. Her hair is way thicker than mine. And, of course, way longer than mine. So, I can't wait to try that on her hair as well as that blow dryer brush. Like I said, if you had seen that video, go and check it out. But, yeah, you guys, I am very impressed. Very impressed. So, I am so excited to see what the next six months bring for me and how much length now that i can get and i have not done anything special to my hair to get it to grow i don't eat good i eat it well i mean i eat healthy but i eat a lot of candy a lot of sugar and stuff um i don't oil my scalp all the time i tell myself i'm going to oil my scalp every three two or three nights but i don't I might oil my scalp once a week and then two weeks will go by and then I'll come back and I'll oil it again. Like, yeah. So, I haven't done any. I've done the bare minimum. I kind of cut out wash and go so I didn't have to worry about all of those single strand knots. I've been doing a lot of two strand twist outs and I have been doing a lot of protective styling within the last six months. So, yeah, you guys. That's all I've been doing to retain my length. It's just kind of messing with it as less as possible. So I am going to go and trim my ends now and get rid of some of these single strand knots that I am feeling. So I'm just going to go and dust my ends and I'm going to call it a night. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, I'm excited with the length retention that I have, I have done over the past six months. Oh my gosh, I'm just... Oof. yes i'm so proud of myself so proud of myself i am doing so much better this time than i did the first time around so yes you guys like i said my battery is about to die so let me go ahead and get off this camera i'll go trim my ends and then i'll probably pop up a picture or two of how they look after i trim them if i don't forget 
so yeah that's all i have you guys i hope you enjoyed this six month date six month update of my hair growth and also my review on these two products if you have any questions or comments make sure you leave them down below for me in the comment section and thank you so much if you enjoyed these videos make sure you give them a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can join my curry crew and as always you guys thank you so so much for watching it means so much to me of course and until my next upload you all enjoy the rest of your week and i'll see you in my next video Bye.